Welcome back to Cough Country, guys. This is Steve with your Cannabis News. I am pumped you're here on a Monday. We've got all sorts of things to keep you up to date on all the news in the cannabis space. Let's get into it. We got Alabama can't decide who they want to sell their cannabis. They're even making people parade around like Miss America for the honor. And uh, Solo Stoves took a big gamble hiring Snoop Dogg to do their advertising. <laughs> it didn't pay off. And we wrap up in Ohio with Governor Mike DeWine. He's trying to ban Delta 8 at the same time they're trying to legalize recreation cannabis. Guys, we get all that and more coming for you right now on Cough Country News. Don't you go anywhere. No sticks, no seeds, just news. From the Cough Country News Desk, it's Steve with your cannabis news. Alabama cannabis has no idea what is going on right now. It's being tossed around like the football at the University of Alabama tailgate. These guys have given out licenses three times, only to have to call a mulligan and do it all over again. Now they're parading applicants before the cannabis board like Miss America and her swimwear, so they can bat their eyes and tell them why they're the prettiest one in the room. The medical program was supposed to go live last year, right? But Alabama has been absolutely tripping over itself. It's been facing delays after delays, more delays than the debutante picking out a ball gown. These guys have passed medical cannabis three years ago, and they still haven't given out any licenses. They're on this never ending loop of giving out the licenses and taking them back and doing it all over again. So back in 2021, when Republican dominated Alabama passed medical cannabis, no one could believe it. The weed is bad wall is really crumbling, but we're seeing this in Ohio and Wisconsin. Republicans just can't seem to get marijuana off the ground. They did this blind impartial scoring thing with the University of Alabama to figure out who would get a license and who wouldn't. And it was supposed to guard against bias and corruption. And that all sounds good, but other states who have used merit-based systems like this all say it leads to nothing but delays. Every time they do a whole selection process, the losers sue the state and say, hey, that's not fair, I want one. So that'll tie up the whole thing in court on its own, but Alabama is special. Instead of telling them to kick rocks and defending their choice, they just go, oh, I'm sorry, you're right, we'll do the whole thing again. And they tear down the barn and start the whole building all over again. On this last go, everyone gets to strut their stuff across the stage and make a little presentation to win hearts and minds. Apparently, the cannabis board is a cast of toddlers and tiaras, and they're still doing the same freaking thing. One company, Southeast Cannabis Company, got a license on the first two rounds, but not this third one. I guess he's not a public speaker. Now he's suing to get back the license they originally gave him. He paid the state $50,000 for it, and it's not like they're giving that money back either, you know? Now the court issued a temporary, temporary restraining order against the state, so the process is delayed again, till at least March when they, they go back to court to figure it all out. Now this last round of picks apparently only affected the dispensary, so the growers have gotten the green light. So we'll see if Alabama can avoid a New York disaster with tons of legal weed and nowhere to sell it. Guys, we'll be right back in 30 seconds. Don't go anywhere. You're just gonna hear a word from our sponsor. Stick around. This is a flower, and this is a distraction. But while the distraction might grab your attention, it will never change the fact that this is medicine. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for sticking around. What do you say we get back to the news, huh? Oh, man. Solo Stoves just got burned. They're the smokeless fire pit company that hired Snoop Dogg to do an ad that went crazy viral. And oh, my God, what an epic fail. It didn't do anything that they wanted, and they fired the CEO over it. In November, Snoop Dogg broke the Internet when he came out with an Instagram post saying he was done smoking. Snoopaloop, the granddaddy of weed. Everyone lost their minds. But then days later, he went, psych! And the ad came out that showed he was just doing this all for a marketing campaign and it wasn't true at all. So they paid God knows how much money to get Snoop to sell out. They got a bajillion views, but guess what? They got no sales out of it. No one cared about the stove before this nonsense and no one cared after. The CEO just had to step down over the debacle, but Solo Brands is trying to hide the pain. They're trying to pretend like it was a success laying the groundwork for future opportunities. Yeah, sure, buddy. But the guy whose idea it was, he had to go. Uh -huh. Ohio Republicans are upset that they have to deal with legal cannabis, and they're looking to hate on something. 
Governor Mike DeWine is stomping his feet and crying to everyone in Congress about, of all things, Delta 8 THC, the most legal of the THCs. So strap in there, Buckeyes. Let's try to wrap our heads around this one, huh? So what is Delta 8 in the first place, right? It's THC alternative and one of the most popular cannabinoids out there, and it's one of the few that can actually get you high. What, what can I say? She's got it going on, right? They call it weed light because the effects you notice are about half as strong as the classic Delta 9 THC. But she's a really foxy lady because they make Delta 8 from hemp, which was legalized in 2018 with a farm bill that Trump signed into law. Hemp is rich in CBD, so that's when we started seeing CBD products pop up everywhere. And with a little tinkering, CBD turns into Delta 8. So it lives in this loophole where it's totally legal, but it still gets you high. So in places where marijuana is still illegal, Delta 8 is an opportunity for patients who can't access THC to still benefit from its effects. So people are out there using it to treat chronic health issues and pain. One guy even said Delta 8 helps him kick booze and pills and navigate his way back to sobriety. But in Ohio, where cannabis was just fully legalized by popular ballot, the governor, Mike DeWine, is stomping up and down the aisles demanding that they ban weed light while they legalize normal marijuana. Uh, but he might have a point, though. He says it's super easy for minors to access. Kids can just walk into any gas station and buy Delta 8 gummies. They're packaged to look like candy for children. That loophole it lives in means it's totally unregulated, so they don't watch how strong it is or who buys it. There's been 257 reports of Delta 8 poisoning in minors, and DeWine says he would be very happy to buy, ban Delta 8 entirely. But that decision ain't exactly up to him. He's tried to push through different restrictions before, but he technically can't pass any of those laws without the support of Congress. So for now, the hemp laws aren't too likely to change anytime soon. That Congress is currently tied up modifying and mutilating issue number two, the ballot that the people passed to legalize marijuana. He's seen if he can at least restrict it to licensed dispensaries, but Delta 8 retailers are like, what the hell, man? It's ridiculous for the lawmakers to even think of considering taking this away. Guys, thanks so much for checking this out. Tune in next time on Cough Country News, where it's always no sticks, no seeds, just news. And be sure you like and subscribe and follow so you don't miss any more.